Hey boys and girls, and welcome to Bedtime Bible Stories here at Valley View Baptist Church. We're going to pick up where we left off last night and see what Gideon's next step is. And so the Lord tells Gideon, he says, Gideon, I'll tell you what I want. I want you to call the people of your tribe together and I, I'm going to use you to go and fight against these Midianites. So, so Gideon spreads the word, says the Lord is, is wanting me to get an army together. Come and help me fight the Midianites. And so the people come together and the Bible says that there was actually 32,000 men that showed up to fight with Gideon. Gideon, I'm sure he's looking at all those men just thinking, wow, how in the world could I get all these people to come and follow me? Lord, surely you're going to use us to do a, a great work. Well, God comes to Gideon and says, Gideon, guess what? If I use all these people to defeat the Midianites, y'all are just going to think that you defeated Midian with your own power. He says, there's too many of you. I want, to, I want to thin the crowd out a little bit. So he says, Gideon, here's the deal. I want you to go to the people and I want you to tell any of them that are afraid or scared to go to battle, hey, just go home. Go home, be with your family, be with your wife, and let's see who's left. So Gideon gets up and he tells the 32,000, hey, any of you that want to go home because you're scared, feel free, go ahead and go home. Man, there was a mass exodus, okay? The Bible says that when, when they got done leaving, there was only 10,000 people left. Okay, if we started with 32,000, we're left with 10,000. How many people was that that left? 22,000, that's right. 22,000 people left and went home. Left Gideon with 10,000. Gideon's sitting there chewing his nails going, oh my goodness, what am I going to do with, with just 10,000 people? And God comes and says, hey, Gideon, guess what? 10,000 is too many. I want less than that. Gideon's going, no, Lord, you don't understand. Look, look out there at the enemy. The Bible says that there was so many of them, it was like grasshoppers. It was like the sand at the seashore. That's how many of the enemy there was. Gideon's only got 10,000 and God's telling him it's too many. So Gideon says, Lord, what do you want me to do? And the Lord tells Gideon, Gideon, I want to put these men through a test. I want you to bring them down here to the creek and I want you to put them through a test for me. And here's, here's how I want you to test. Every man that kneels down and is watchful and brings that water up to his mouth and laps the water with his tongue, I want you to set them on one side. But every man that gets down and drinks with his mouth from the water, I want you to put them on the other side. Well, the Bible says that of the men that brought the water to their mouth, there was only 300 of them. And God told Gideon, that's the 300 that I want to use. Send the rest of them home. Okay, so we had 10,000. God selected 300 of them. So how many of them is he sending home? 9,700. That's exactly right. So we are now down to 300 men that are left. So God tells Gideon, okay, Gideon, here's the plan. I want you to go. And I want you to get each of those 300 men a trumpet, a lantern, a light, and something to cover the light. Okay? And so Gideon goes and gets these and thinks, boy, that's odd. I mean, what about a sword? How about a bow and arrow? How about a Gatlin gun? That's really what I need. But God said, no. All I need is a trumpet, a light and something to cover the light. So Gideon acts in faith and goes and does what God wants. Quips each of his men, and Gideon then takes, and he separated his men into groups of hundred, 
and he spread them out all the way around this huge camp of people, the Midianites. And so they wait till dark. And when Gideon gives the signal, they all blow on their trumpet as hard as they can. Well, they're completely surrounding the enemy up in the hills and up in the trees, hiding out, blowing these trumpets as hard as they can. And then they take and they break what was covering the light. So now all of a sudden light lights up all the way around the camp. Well, the Midianites, they're, they're in their tents already, half asleep. And all of a sudden they hear these trumpets sounding. All of a sudden these bright lights are showing up all around their camp and they don't know what to think. So this guy starts running one way, the other guy starts running, and they just run right into one another. Well, they think it's the enemy attacking them, so they pull their swords and they start fighting one another, not realizing it's their own men that they're fighting. And the Bible says that he called, that God calls discord in the camp. That means that one didn't know what the other was doing. And the Midianites ended up fighting themselves to where God's people never even had to lift a sword against them. And the Bible goes on to tell about how the Lord had a great victory that day. Eventually, the, the children of Israel ended up pursuing the Midianites out of the land of Israel, back into the land of Midian. And the Bible says before it was all said and done, 120,000 Men died from Midian that was coming up against Israel, fighting against Israel. And God was able to return the land to the children of Israel. And the Bible says that for 40 years, Gideon ruled over the children of Israel and that there was peace in the land. All because they were willing to get behind God's chosen man, follow the rules that God had set forth for them, and God was able to give them peace and prosperity. Wow, thank you so much, Brother Brad, for that amazing lesson on Gideon. Hey, thanks for joining us, and we'll see you guys Thursday. Good night.